tank on the field as well. The Apothecary trying to retreat away. A uh, continued suppression going on here. The Howling Banshees. Oh my god, the Howling Banshees are just charging in right now on top of this Razorback. Uh, again, that power melee very effective against vehicles. That Razorback is driving in reverse, trying his best to get out of there, but getting hacked away, and bam! There goes uh, the Howling Banshees getting that nice little kill there. Uh, unfortunately, a bunch of tactical marines come out and almost get the kill off on them. Uh, they did pop all the way up to level 2, though, so that's looking pretty good for them. Taking a look around, uh, the Assault Squad was forced to retreat once they saw this Falcon Grav Tank on the field. Uh, and now things, again, are kind of stalemated in this middle position. But thankfully, thankfully, uh, these scouts here with the sniper rifles were able to cap this southern victory point while all that was going on. Really, really important to multitask in these kind of situations and make sure that you're still waging the passive-aggressive warfare. Because your control over the map is your macro. you got a macro and micro at the same time. So... Uh, he was able to grab that, so even though he killed, uh, even though it looks like Blood Rain killed that, uh, killed that Razor back there, could have been a little bit of a Pyrrhic victory, uh, because it did cost him control over that side of the map, and now he has to just kind of, uh, divert some of his attention down there to take care of that. Uh, anyhow, uh, the Autark right now is upgrading the Executioner here, that's long and coming, I think he's needed that for some time right now, uh, but just kind of continuing to walk the, walk the no man's land between the Falcon and the, uh, Shuriken Cannon team. Uh, just make sure to kind of guard that. That's kind of the, uh, <laughs> I think in this situation here, the Autark is sort of the initiator. Uh, taking a look around, though, let's see what's going on here. Sniper's moving out. We do have a Devastator Marine Squad on the field as well, so a little bit of suppression on Spirit side. Here we do have the melt bombs coming out right now from the Assault Squad, doing quite a bit of damage there, and oh, knocking him down to a sliver of hit points. I really want to see an energy shield up on that Falcon as soon as possible. That'll definitely help out with that. Again, a little bit of suppression going up on top of this Assault Squad right now. The Howling Banshee's wrecking away, but here is the beauty of having that Devastator on his side of the field now. Uh, for once, he can suppress troops that kind of charge in like that. Uh, the heal goes off, and again, this Assault Squad looking mighty fine and dandy. Healed back up to full hit points there. Uh, obviously saving up to be able to just get one more jump off onto the Shuriken team. And uh, that's pretty good, but maybe, maybe he's actually trying to get out of the field of fire because he knows about that second Shuriken cannon from last time. I will have to see what he has planned here. In fact, looks like staring contest time. Heavy Bolter is going right up against the Shuriken team. And uh, both teams getting out of there. I will have to see any sort of a jump on the retreat. Uh, that would be pretty hard to get. I think it said he's just going to take control over this area. Again on the south, this, the sniper scouts having no problem taking care of that. Uh, moving in, even trying to put some damage on this node. Why not? And uh, the scouts up here are grabbing this victory point. So uh, possibly possibly even a three cap right now, except for the fact that it uh, looks like this pesky little uh, pesky wharf spider was back here uh, capping points and whatnot. Uh, there he is. He's blinking all over the place, hard to keep track of. And now he's just going to go ahead and shred up some scouts again. They're kind of hard to reinforce. Uh, we can see that the Guardians have to be repurchased at this point by Blood Rain because he needs to repair his Falcon. Unfortunately, the Guardians met their death earlier to the Tactical Marines. And uh, it looks like Warspider XR is going to grab back his friendly territory at the same time that the Assault Marines grab back their friendly territory. Well, let's take a look around here for levels uh, just for the time being. I do like to kind of get that uh, Scouts level 2, Tactical Marines level 2, Assault level 2, Scout level 2, Devastator level 1. Also a bunch of level 2s right now. Uh, by the way, the Apothecary is level 3. Uh, and then looking around right now for Blood Rain, we can see the Howling Banshees here at 2, Shuriken at 2, Shuriken at 1, Rangers, Autark. I just like to just kind of give an update now and then on that. Uh, some people really enjoy looking at their levels. Uh, we can see a nice looking flank coming out of the uh, coming out of the Howling Banshees right now. They're charging in, but Angels of Death goes off, uh, buying some much needed time. Uh, perhaps being able to inflict some casualties on these frail Howling Banshees, uh, or maybe getting in right there and getting some heals off in time. Uh, now their troops have gotten. It looks like uh, Spirit's troops have gotten back out of the range there a little bit of that Shuriken team and are able to kind of fight off the Howling Banshees. Uh, just kind of a little bit of repositioning using that. Uh, Using that Angels of Death just as a little uh, little way to stall for time there. Took some losses, though. Uh, not too bad. Lost a Tactical Marine and lost a Devastator there during all of that. Uh, and now, again, uh, these scouts having some trouble here. This little annoying Warp Spider Exarch. And by the way, notice no gear whatsoever on the Warp Spider Exarch at all now. Uh, he used to be, uh, prior to patch 3.14, uh, just the best ranged hero in the game. And he would just, you know, obviously always get all of his upgrades. Uh, but now he's pretty much just being used to cap... Uh, during this game. Uh, the Apothecary, however, though, Armor of Purity, uh, just getting his recharge time and his heal down. Uh, he's got just more energy and energy regeneration, and of course that Mastercraft Bolter, uh, which I've yet to catch being used yet. I'm pretty sure he does use it, though. Uh, War Spider Exarch, still waging the passive-aggressive war on this side of the map. And check out this uh, potential, uh, potential nice little uh, push here on the power generator once again. Uh, maybe even trying to outflank uh, this capture point here. Got the Falcon and uh, both of those Shuriken Cannon teams moving up. Backed up, of course, by the Snipers. Uh, really nice looking combination there. 
on the right hand side we can see oh i just missed the warp spinner xr getting wrecked right there by a combination of everything pretty much uh all, all of spirit's units were there in the field and spirit now uh making the right move here is just going to go ahead and jump up to tier three uh something that blood rain should consider doing at some point if he realizes that the pressure is off of him in terms of having to build uh constant tier two um uh, looks like Spirit, though, really needs to get back in the game. He is at 100 points and ticking down versus 383 for Blood Rain. Blood Rain is still very much in control of the victory points this game. Uh, he just needs to hold on here. Uh, you can see, though, the Space Marines just kind of build up like a boulder. Uh, boulder rolling down the hill. They just kind of gather momentum very slowly. The more and more Space Marines you see on the field, the tougher and tougher they are late game, especially as they all start getting upgraded and things like that, and especially with a very upgraded level 4 Apothecary in the midst uh, there, so he's got to be careful about that. We can see another Razorback. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. That is a Predator. Thank God. Predator coming out on the field right now for Spirit. Uh, good move indeed. That'll help deal with that Falcon as well as just all sorts of other general goodness. Assault Squad just knocking back, and now there we go. Full auto uh, up right now by the Apothecary being used to completely pin down that Warp Spider Exarch. That's likely what happened earlier when we saw the dead Warp Spider at the other victory point indeed. Uh, so good use of full auto there. And uh, things are really looking up, continuing to just keep that Warp Spider XR completely beaten down. We can see a uh, nice little retrograde weird attack going on here. Uh, this is kind of dangerous here for Blood Rain. He's moving his army all the way over on top of this gen farm, leaving himself very open to a flank. He already saw that Spirit's troops were directly behind him here. Uh, this is a very questionable attack. He's putting a lot of pressure on a single tactical marine squad, but leaving himself very open. But uh, looks like he's aware of this. Unfortunately, oh god, this is a very bad time to be retreating here. I, I love the fact that he split, uh, that he, uh, you know, had both weapons pointed that direction. But looks like this troop is actually going to be able to get out of there. And uh, he's just going to kind of have to huddle up around this power generator uh, for the time being. Um... Again, I'm very worried for Blood Rain in this position. He is in a very, uh, very compromising position right now, especially having a Predator bearing down and a Predator instantly upgrading the armor as well. And you can see Tier 3 is now being researched by Blood Rain. Uh, here comes the pincer attack that I was kind of worried about. Uh, predator coming in from the north. You can see already inflicting too many casualties on that Howling Banshee squad. Howling Banshee's having to retreat. The Autark doing her best right now to kind of uh, put some pressure on these uh, uh, the Sniper Scouts. Uh, sniper Scout's getting knocked all the way down to a single gentleman there uh, before having to retreat. Uh, the Assault Marine's getting in there with a little bit of a melt bomb. Uh, still, I'm concerned that this Falcon does not have a force field. Um, you know, that, that is obviously very noticeable as he's taking too much damage. And, oh, rear armor hits all around by the Predator and everybody else. Uh, fantastic, fantastic attack right there. I think that all came down to a very strange decision by Blood Rain to kind of kind of push across the map knowing that there was an entire army behind him and this buys plenty of time notice by the way already what uh spirit's doing here he split his entire army up just gonna crap uh just gonna go ahead and cap both victory points uh and even making a move down here to cap the third one as well uh, we can see that the autark has recapped that and is now going to continue ninja capping trying to buy time here uh but this leaves spirit very very in control of the map uh bright lance weapon team on the field right now to try and help take care of that predator uh, you can see that this uh, shuriken cannon team came up here to kind of chase away the scouts, but now the shuriken team is just being shot at by the battle cannon and that predator right now, doing some pretty good damage there as well. Uh, the bright lance, however, very quickly going to have to, uh, <laughs> very quickly going to force that predator to have to get away. Uh, predator, you can see, getting uh, burned down to about half health right there from that bright lance shot. Uh, so that's of course an effective deterrent. Uh, but now, if 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 Spirit can hang on to two victory points here, uh, he'll still be in the game and uh, perhaps really on the offensive here. He has stabilized himself at 88 points versus 335 right now for Blood Rain. Uh, Blood Rain really just needs to grab back these points and hold out for just a little bit longer. He's got Spirit on the ropes here, uh, but Spirit Man is at that late game stage of Space Marines. Really hard to deal with. Oh, unfortunately, uh, looks like the Devastators took a casualty before getting healed. Uh, but unfortunately uh, for the <laughs> for these poor Howling Banshees here, they are just getting annihilated in the crossfire right now gonna have to retreat away uh the assault squad here just kind of cleaning up house everybody full retreat uh, wonderful use of that predator right now uh predator just being a great fire support uh staying behind their troops not taking too much damage but uh really really punishing the eldar units there uh looks like once again gonna go back to two to one in favor of spirit and uh spirit's looking pretty happy this game so far he just needs to hold on we'll have to see uh tier three looks like is still being researched by blood rain so he's working his way up to that and uh, for the most part, Spirit's got control and he's got initiative. And uh, he's won back the tempo advantage now, uh, which is that he's pretty much the one calling where the battles are happening. You can see this nice little uh, kind of exploratory force coming out right now, expeditionary force uh, by the Apothecary and the uh, Tactical Marines going to just try and grab all of this stuff here. 
not a bad move, especially when you come down and just threaten two things at the same time. It forces whoever reacts to have to react to the tactical marines first, uh, and then react to the apothecary. Unfortunately, however, the apothecary found uh, resistance on all sides and uh, is really getting a beat down here. He'll be able to heal for a little while. Uh, looks like they capped that point. Notice, by the way, the tactical marines do have that fast cap speed. Uh, they were able to cap that point. Uh, now retreating away and dropping in. Could it be... Terminators! Yes, we have Terminators on the battlefield right now. And notice, by the way, they do have that white Deathwing armor going on right now. Uh, that is the first company of the Death Angels. Uh, the Dark Angels, rather. First company of the Dark, Dark Angels is Deathwing. They all wear Terminator armor, and they are all bright white. Uh, so that is, of course, what's going on there. Uh, meanwhile, Terminator is getting some punchy punchy, uh, doing some damage here to this retreating uh, weapons team. I have no idea where that came from, honestly. I think that was the weapons team that was over here. Perhaps it moved up to try and capture the victory point. Got scared away by some heavy bolt of fire, bolt of fire and then retreated through a bunch of Terminators. That's my best guess as to what was going on there. Anyhow, uh, Terminators, Predator, Apothecary on the battlefield right now. Things looking pretty good for Spirit. Uh, he's got a lot of punch out there right now. Uh, you can see this Bright Lance team doesn't even have time to do any damage. Unfortunately, he was focusing the Apothecary, uh, but he's just going to have to get the hell out of there right now. And this Predator is just going to charge on in and just do damage. Uh, just kind of uh, buy time here for the Apothecary to cap whatever he wants right now. And that is going to be a 3 cap right now for Spirit as soon as he gets that off. Uh, that's looking pretty good indeed. Uh, taking a look around, Blood Rain is up to Tier 3, uh, but unfortunately he's at the stage of the game where his entire army is blobbed up, uh, retreating all at the same time. Uh, with the possible exception of this one Shuriken team here, uh, which is probably going to go up and take a look and see what's on top of this mountain here. But unfortunately, he's going to bump into double sniper squads uh, and an assault marine squad. Probably the instant perfect counter right now. Yep, doing some serious damage. Even Terminators show up. Uh, not going to have any luck with that whatsoever. Terminator is being up upgraded to the Cyclone Missile Launcher as well, too. Uh, that's just some icing on the cake right there, I think, uh, for Spirit. Honestly, I'd be happy with... Uh, I'd be happy with an Assault Cannon, but, you know, if you want a Cyclone, go for a Cyclone. Why not? Uh, does some pretty good damage there. Uh, so, again, I love the fact that he's just holding onto this key crossroads right now in the center of the map. Uh, this is the main conduit here if you're walking back and forth too frequently, uh, forcing his opponent to have to kind of go up in the sides of the map. There goes that Cyclone Missile Launcher right there, uh, wrecking and hitting a little bit of terrain, but also doing some pretty reasonable damage uh, to the Howling Banshees. And now the Terminators are just going to move on in. Uh, Storm Bolters and Power Fist. Uh, no, we have... Oh, we've got some Phase Armor. Uh, we have Phase Armor being activated by the Warp Spider Exarch. Remember, he can't cancel it. He's going to go for an Eldritch Storm here. He's got to time this just right. Just in time, uh, the Phase Armor wears off, and the Eldritch Storm happens on top of the Terminators, uh, knocking back, uh, looks like, everybody there. Uh, the Apothecary retreated, and uh, in the middle of all of that, the Warp Spider Exarch died. Uh, died by the hands of his own uh, interesting little trick there. So uh, remember, they fixed the Phase Armor bug. Uh, you used to be able to retreat out of phase armor and break it whenever you wanted, allowing for some spectacularly abusive displays of grenade timing and things like that. Uh, but nowadays, it's back to its good old-fashioned self here. Uh, I think that's kind of how it was intended to be abused, I think, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Uh, meaning the person still has to time it quite right. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out for him. But no no hard feelings at all. I think that's fine, man. You you use whatever relic gives you to use during a tournament. I don't want to hear anybody saying like, oh, he tried, oh, that abuser. That uh, No, man, he did it late game. Uh, it was a desperation attempt, and I think that's a fine move. If you can pull it off, and go for it. Uh, no calls of abuse here. I'm fine with that. <laughs> you heard it here first. That's my opinion on Eldritch Storm phase shift timing. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, the Terminator is here doing a fantastic job with the Predator, uh, wrecking into this side of the battlefield right now. Uh, you can see they are just unopposed. Uh, you can see uh, even this little rocket launcher here on the Tactical Marine Squad here. Boom! Gonna go ahead and dig a small hole. Bright Lance maybe was hoping to get some sort of a shot off there, but oh, even upgrading right now. The Predator has got the twin-linked blast cannons uh, up on <laughs> up there as well. Uh, just gonna be zotting away at all of these gentlemen, doing some quite a lot of terrible damage. Again, look at this defense here. This poor Shuriken team is just gonna get sniped and assault jumped like mad. Uh, barely getting any time to suppress. Not even suppressing. Uh, getting punched and destroyed away. Oh, unfortunately, we had a merciless strike there, sort of in the wrong direction, but doesn't matter. Uh, those assault marines are just going to be able to just destroy that place. So things are looking uh, pretty good indeed for Spirit right now. Uh, just got all he has to do right now is sit on two victory points, and he's got three. That's plenty. Uh, he could even go out and cap this power node if he wants to, but uh, I won't criticize him if he just sits there. That's fine. Uh, the Shuriken team is moving out, unfortunately though, uh, too many losses right now for Blood Rain, uh, and Blood Rain is just going to tick out of points on time. 
time. He even had a D cannon out there. That's quite interesting. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm Harlequin. If you did, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.